Imudu Trekkers, a group of like-minded nature enthusiasts, are traversing through the enchanting routes of seven unexplored eastern Himalayan lakes. What started as one humble exploration has now blossomed into Northeast India's most popular trek. The trekking is for a minimum of seven days and it takes nine days to complete. The altitude starts from 6,200 feet going up to 14,000 feet. The team has not just served more than 100 trekkers, but it's creating employment for many locals. This year, advisor to Imudu trekkers, Jimu Mile, who is also an engineer by the profession, was conferred with Northeast Young Heroes Award under the tourism category of Young Leaders Connect 8 2022. Hello, Jimu. Welcome to Breakthrough. Thank you so much for taking out your time and coming all the way from Rowing to be here today. And before we begin our conversation, I want to congratulate you on winning the Nordisk Young Heroes Award 2022. Share with us your experience on winning the award. Uh, <clears throat> First of all, thank you so much for inviting me. And, uh, the whole experience of getting the Notice Hero Award very, was a very uh, life-changing moment for me. And that is when I started thinking not locally but globally because I have met many young entrepreneurs who taught me that it's not about thinking locally but to think globally. Right? And uh, that is why what we are doing is we are, uh, right now we are connecting with Israel scientists also and many uh, European tracking agencies. Right? I should actually explore my own potentials to right. the fullest. Eh? So along with you, seven more were acknowledged yes. on the same platform. What was the takeaway from that meet? Actually, it was unbelievable to be very frank, uh, because there was Jeremy and this many uh, actresses and uh, designers and IS, IS uh, madams. So uh, yes, uh, it's really a humble, Thing that experience, has happened to me, like, yeah, humble experience for you. For yes. me, yeah. You came out more energized in yes, wanting yeah. to do more, yes, meeting yes, all these yes. energetic people. So coming back to your team, Jimu, can you share with us the journey on the creation of your team, Imutu Triggers, and also the name behind, or the meaning behind the name Imutu? Okay, uh, Imutu Triggers. Imutu means sky in our language. Uh, and uh, about the team, no? we have Sajan Mipi, Kanki Miri, Ajadi Rondo, Novin Rondo, and uh, Manish Mili. No? Yeah, we can say hi to them. Hi. If you're watching, hi. Yeah. We miss you all here yeah. in the studio. Yes, yes. And, uh, and I think it was uh, sheer luck that you met because uh, I never expected to even meet any of them. So one day I was just uh, talking to my talking to my friends no, that, I, that I've heard that there are some lakes. This was in which year? I think I, it was in the year 2020. Okay, when the whole, during Corona time. Yeah, during Corona time. And like we were fully bored of our like uh, sitting in the same room every day. So I just told, told, to, my, told to one of my friends that I have heard that there is some lakes over there. Then he directly said, Jimu, you cannot do it. You are from a town, you cannot do it. Then I took it as a challenge. No? Then the next day I told to the whole town, Whoever is interested, they can join me. No. Uh, they can pay me 2000 rest I will, I will handle. Then we just left. We had no idea. No so clue. in the beginning, it was your male ego which got hurt. Yes, yes, male ego, yeah. <laughs> I would say yes. And uh, to be very frank, I had no idea even which village it started. No? So we just left. We just went and uh, the whole journey was like too enchanting for me. You know. Day one was grassland. It was so beautiful. With you, how many traveled? How many uh, began the journey? A total were uh, 14 members. 40? 14, 14. 14, uh, right. So we had three porters and the 11 were like the local people only. For the seven whole days, it was clear weather. So we were very lucky. And uh, when we went to the, when we reached the lakes, we could feel the presence of, you know, something heavenly. We could feel something magnetic, you know, that is trying to tell us that, you know, don't come over here, you know, you could feel it. Don't right, come right? to the lake. Ah, yeah, don't come towards the lake. Right? I mean, when you go, when you go towards the lake, you can feel like there is not something. Not to go near. Uh, not to go near, yeah. So did you listen? Yeah, obviously we listened. And, and you stopped. 
And yeah, we, we didn't even touch any legs. We have some practices. So, I mean, so it was the fourth day. So it was, the weather was uh, clear weather. To be very frank, it was very sunny day. Then suddenly it started raining heavily. So there was, and we reached down. Then we found a porter, he was washing his socks uh, in the legs. So as per our tradition, we believe that uh, washing clothes are not allowed. Washing. Okay, you are not supposed to wash clothes near the lake. Yes, you're not even allowed to touch it. No? Uh, you're not even, even allowed to say that, oh, this place is very beautiful. That, that is also not allowed. But why is that so? I mean, uh, these practices have been, you know, taught to us by, you know, our forefathers who used to go to hunting. No? So you cannot appreciate, you cannot wash clothes, wash clothes. you cannot touch the water, the lake, yeah, and what shout. else? You cannot shout. We cannot shout. And, so uh, we cannot fight in front of the lake. Yes, you cannot fight. And to be very frank, okay, even shouting is not allowed. Shouting. So there was this one guy, I mean many years before, before we uh, went towards this lake, there was this one guy from Delhi. He reached till fifth lake. Then he, out of this excitation, seeing this, this the, that lake is so beautiful. Huh? So he started shouting. He, he started shouting. shouting, yeah, shouting. And suddenly there was heavy snowfall. And then they had Don't to come back. Don't tell me. This was when? I think I, uh, before I, uh, 2020, it was in 2016 or 17. 16 or 17? 17, yeah. 17, yeah. It was clear sky. Ah, clear sky. And yeah. this tourist, out of excitement, he uh, shouted. Yes. And it started snowing. Yes. Heavy snowfall. I, have in the, I even have the pictures and they had to come back. So when you go to this place, you, you know, there is something, you know. It's, uh, it's something very, very mystical. Mystical, yeah. No, it's not just, it's not... Uh, me saying, I mean, there, there has been many doctors who have felt the same, mm -hmm. who say that, you know, this place is a different place. No? And when I went for the first time, you, I could, when I closed my eyes, I could feel like the goat, they, they must be taking, you know, evening walks. I could wow. feel it. That is the feeling that you will have over there. We are coming there. Breakthrough team is coming there. <laughs> yes, yeah, man. These lakes are so interesting. Our question is getting tired to, to the lakes now because actually we really wanted to tell our viewers the creation of the team, the Imuto, how it was created. The formation of the team is uh, linked to these stories. Yes. Our guide was Ajadi and Kanki. Mm -hmm. so these two were our guides. So after the trek end, uh, they told me that, Jimu, we, we really want uh, you to make, do something for us. So me being an uh, officer, uh, I thought, okay, uh, I can take the responsibility. Uh, and that is how I started collecting. I, I tried to collect more teammates. So Ajadi, his elder brother is Novin, mm -hmm. our teammate. Uh, yes. And Novin's roommate is Sajani Mipi. Okay. And, uh, and the, the, f the fifth guy, Manish Mili. Uh, so he, he went with us in the track. So we decided, okay, let's uh, start making our camps. Huh? And that is how we formed our team. Six members, yeah, six including members. you. Yeah. And you are a government employee, so you are, the, you are working as an advisor to the team. Yes. The rest of them, they are unemployed youths. Yes, yes, they are unemployed. And you said along with your team, you have even a dedicated team of porters. Yes, yes. Can you say more on it? Yes, uh, what we do is when we organize the tracks, uh, we take potters with us, right? So what we do is we select few potters who are very disciplined Because uh, It's very important that in the future what we plan is they'll be the one who will be organizing the trek So we have potter team like I mean uh, five to six people sir. Okay. But the thing is five to six, but what we require is like 15 to 15 to 12 potters So this uh, this remaining seven to eight potters are like running potters sir. So for one person, for one tourist, how many porters is required? So, uh, I mean, it depends. Suppose uh, there is a group of like 12 or 13 people, no? mm -hmm. so we'll require around 10 porters. Okay, if it is 12, 13 people, I then mean, 10 porters is required. And suppose uh, uh, we have an experienced tracker who can carry his own, lead, who, his own luggage, then uh, we can reduce the porters number. But what usually happens is, you know, Ultimately, at the end, the porter has to carry. Mm -hmm. So we tell them in advance that uh, this is a very different terrain. This, unlike other Himalayan terrain, right? Where the, even donkey can, donkey can go. But in this terrain, it's only humans. Right? So what we do is we advise the people, like, if you are two people, you need to hire one porter. 
for them unfortunately. Okay, two person can hire one porter. Yeah. In the initial stage to make the trail and the camps, I am told that you did it by collecting money amongst yourself. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, were there any individuals or group that came forward to help you financially or materials or through physically? And what were some of the few difficulties mm -hmm. that your team faced in the initial stage? <clears throat> yes, uh, we, we are very lucky that the people from Aninina, they, they have donated us like buckets, somebody has donated us cooker, somebody has donated us stove, somebody mugs, and they, they, that has been very helpful. The difficulty was immense because uh, to be very frank, we had to carry like that. There was like Potter movement for continuous eight months. No? So the whole eight months during the COVID, even I was in the jungle. So hardly we used to come in, in, in a month, we used to come uh, to the ground for hardly a week. Mm -hmm. And the rest of the time we used to be in the mountains. You know? So suppose like when you are making camp number one, so we used to stay in the cave. So from cave we have to again, again climb, you know, 30, uh, 30 minutes every day. And then we had to climb the bamboos and everything. Carrying all yeah, the carrying stuff. This. And, um, the next thing we had to do was we had to carry cement back. Yeah, till over there. And uh, to carry cement back was very expensive. Just uh, to make like uh, five meter into ten, five, into, five meter into seven meter, it took us one lakh rupees because we had to carry. So it was only six of you working yeah. throughout. Only six of you. Six of us plus porters. Uh, we had and you were paying them. Ah, the yeah, porters yeah. you were paying. Yeah, them. we were paying them. Yeah. Safety is the most important thing. So even the trail. Uh, in fact, when we went for the first time, it was very risky. You know. So what we did was we made very good trail. Right now, we have increased safety measures from 10 percentage to uh, 60 to 70 percentage. That is the kind of safety measures that we have done. And and the biggest task is to, you know, when you're sleeping in your own room. And the biggest task is, okay, next day you have to wake up. Can you, <laughs> Can you do, go yes. there? This is the biggest task. It's really commendable, the kind of work you all your team member has put is really commendable. So I want to come back again to the Seven Lake Trail because in you just mentioned that once upon a time, this Seven Lake Trail was a, a, one of the best kept secret yes, yes. amongst the Itumishmi community. Elaborate more on this. When, see, uh, in our tribe, uh, what we believe is uh, our spirit, our Itumishmi spirit are taken back to the mountains. So our priest, uh, in our locally, we call uh, Igu, I-G-U, which also means priest. Eh? Okay. So he had, I mean, the Igu, they tell us, like, you should not go over there. Eh? Go over where? Go over the mountains. Is there a particular boy? So many mountains, so which mountain? I mean, uh, every Igu, every Igu have their own mountain, like, uh, from which they gain their power. Okay. There was one Igu, so he was saying, like, don't go over there. Eh? But we told him, like, see, Right now, if you think that way, it won't happen. I mean, we want something, you know, something, employment generation, tourism. Yes. Yeah. So we said, we have, we have told him, like, we discussed with him, okay, this is our plan. Our plan is not to harm the nature, but go along with the nature. And I have read that those high altitude hunters, whenever they go on this track, they live behind salt, rice, and some firewoods for the next hunter. Yes, yes. So, and you believe that this uh, Mishmi Takin, mm -hmm. they have a human spirit as a guide. Yes, yes. If tomorrow, if the tourists go on track, what is the chances of them, you know, encountering this Mishmi Takin? Okay. Uh, first, let's talk about uh, the hunting hunters, now, how they used to practice the hunting. So, uh, in the camp number one, you will find there's a cave, a very big cave. And uh, the rule is, when you reach over there, then you will find that there is already salt, there is rice, there is even beer cans. Okay. So every time you cross that, you will always find, find this. There. Even the woods, they are already woods are already there. So that uh, because when we reach over there, we are already tired. So we will we will get all the thing, everything. And when we leave, what we do is we leave our salt that we have brought with us, the rice and the dal, even the woods. We'll cut and make it ready, and then we we'll leave. And that has been uh, for, been uh, going through for many years. Eh? And uh, let's talk about Mishmi Takin. Eh? 
So uh, every Mishmi Takin, uh, they, they have a group of around 50 to 60. Th th there's one big herder. And last year, I think you saw one. So it was in the year 2020. Yeah. So we were in uh, camp number three. Actually, there was no camp that time. It was very new. So we thought, okay, we'll reach over there and then we'll make tents. But we found that there was heavy winter. So we had to climb up and we had to uh, stay inside the big, big rocks. Uh. So there was uh, heavy rainfall as well as fog for three continuous days. And because of that, we could not move. And uh, at the third night, uh, the weather, it, it got cleared. There was full moon. And the next morning when we woke up, we saw like uh, there was Mishmi Takin herd of 50 to 60. And there is always one big uh, male uh, mm -hmm. who like who guides the who guides the herd. It's Which one is big. male you can identify easily from the herd. Yeah, it's very big. It's very big. And um, and what our belief is like behind him, uh, there's always one spirit who like guides them, okay, we have to go over there, we have to, you know, herd over there. So and whenever our tribe, when we, you know, interact mm -hmm. with the missing talking, what we do is out of respect we uh, give them like we throw them then we keep uh, a, an Use. empty cartridge in in the in their path and what uh, does it mean we won't harm you so out of respect for that spirit mm -hmm. uh, and also we uh, we give some meat very interesting so we will take a short break but the stadium will be back with more enchanting pictures about the seven lake Welcome back to Breakthrough. Today we have in our studio Jimu Muli, advisor of Imutu Trekker. So Jimu, we want to show some of the pictures of the Seven Lakes because this is something else and our viewers need to see this. It's like the way you have said it, it's paradise on earth. So Donnie, if you can just show us the picture from Lake One. So uh, this is the first lake. And uh, if you can see the flowers, this is this is these are all rhododendrons. Though. So during June, June and July, the whole mountains is covered by flowers. Though. So this is also this is the first lake. And if you can see, there is uh, this this is there is our campsite. Though. If you can see tents yes, over there, yeah, yes. small tents. There is our campsite, and uh, if you can see that mountain ridge over there. Though. Oh, this is so beautiful. We have, uh, we have to climb over that mountain ridge. Though. Then we have to reach over there. So from the starting point, how many days does it take to reach here? I, we reach here on the third day. Oh, this is our second, uh, second lake. Huh? And we call this our main base camp also. If you can see, there is our small tent. Uh, this is yes, the lake. Yes, out there, we can see the smoke yeah, coming out. Smoke coming out, yeah. Uh, this is the third lake and we can find aconite over here. But right. the flower is purplish, purplish and it's very beautiful. Now, this is also the fourth lake. And check out the color of the water. Uh, the color is it's amazing. It's very amazing. So this is our fifth lake. We just climb and then we just go down and then we find the next six and seven lake. And uh, the best part is whenever the trekkers they reach over here, each and everyone starts dancing because they know that the, the, that the journey is ended. Huh? This is the last because you have got six and seven more lakes. This is six and seven. Okay, this is the six six, in the six seven. Okay, seven. Okay, yeah. so you are not allowed to shout. You are not allowed to say anything beautiful, but they dance once they reach here. Uh, for many people, it's a very emotional moment also, right? right? Because we are finally, you know, heading back. So in this, I want to ask you, Jimo, because you yourself, in the beginning, you said when you first went and saw the lake, you thought yeah. God's reside there. Yeah. That was your expression. Yes, yes. That kind of, you know, mm. the the kind of all you had after seeing the place. So share with us some of the first-hand experience of the tourists that you have taken after seeing this place. What was your expression? So uh, there was this uh, friend of mine, he's an accountant also. 
So uh, he works in Assam. He's an Assamese guy. So he has a very hectic schedule, right? So he had become like something like very, like a doll, no? But after he he reached first leg, no? he started crying. Because uh, because he was tired, or no, not because he was tired. Because so it was cloudy, but the sun, the but the sun it sets over there, right? The end. Yes. yes. Is I, that pines? Oh, this uh, there is small pine trees, no? Yeah. So he was over here only. There was the big. I mean, in the trail only there is, there is one big uh, rock, no? So he was sitting over there, and, and it was cloudy, okay. But the end, but the, at the end, I'm going sunset, down. Sunset, you can see yeah, the sunset, sunset, yeah, sunset uh -huh. yeah, and the reflection. It was. It comes out like oh, yes. golden, I golden can imagine, light. Right? Yes. Yeah, golden light. So uh, there's the reason he was. He started. He crying. just broke down. Yeah. He just seeing broke the down, beauty yeah. after being stuck in the concrete, concrete city, yeah. Yeah. coming in, enjoying the beauty of the nature. Yes. It's, it's not just him. There was one more. Right? He was. He was also crying. Right? I mean, it's not crying. I would say it was just you know tears were coming out. Tears of joy. So I guess. That is what nature can do to us. Chimo, after seeing all these pictures, I'm sure many of our viewers are going to visit this. So tell our viewers some of the do's and don'ts a trekker has to be mindful before as well as during the journey. And so if you talk about the do's, it's very important that you're fit. You cannot just come out here and just start the trek, no? to be very frank. Uh, and you have to work out at least for Two months if you are a beginner, and this trek is not uh, absolutely not for a complete beginner or unfit trekkers. I've read you mentioned like in Nordis, this is one of the toughest trail. Toughest trail, and there is a reason we uh, we call it uh, summit series, no? seven legs summit series. And uh, but there is a glitch. I mean, there was this one guy from uh, Mumbai, so he was 95, 90, 95 kg. So uh, he had this night night job. And what was his age? Uh, his age should be around. 28 to 30. Okay. So he had this night shift. Mm -hmm. So he was uh, very fat, you know. He just he never went out of Delhi also. So he took his first flight of his life, and he directly reached to Divang Valley. I told him that uh, you are unfit. You might have to work out, no? But he didn't even do that. He directly came. So our team was, you know, all the team were team were involved in making him to succeed yes. to complete the track. So I mean. He didn't carry his luggage, to be very frank. It was our teammates no? who carried his luggage and he completed, he completed the trek, to be very frank. Wow. And uh, that is where I got confused. Is it for beginners or it is, is it for intermediate or is it for professionals? No? Uh, but uh, he was really motivated there. If you are determined. Yeah, his name is Manish Pamani. No? Wow, Manish, congratulations. So, yes, you have to be fit mentally also. I mean, there was, there were, I've seen many young people come over there, but uh, they get demoralized. No? So, some couldn't finish the no, trail. No, some, many could not finish the trail. Now you have a call center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you just tell more about it to our viewers? Because I'm sure many are going to you know, contact you. So what are the ways they can reach out to you? So, uh, I mean, the call center, we have just started it. And uh, to, be, to be frank, we are a startup only. Right? So there's one guy, uh, Anjana Mito. Uh, he's a very humble and very nice guy. So, yes, you can uh, directly either contact me on Instagram. Mm -hmm. You can search Jimu Mele Instagram, or else, uh, you can go to our website divangvillietrackers.com. So we have like our future plans also. We have new trail trail coming up next year, Zarumo Trail. Uh, Zarumo Trail is more like trail to thousand waterfalls. That is, I, we are going to talk on that. That is interesting. Yes, that yes. is interesting. So they can either contact you on your Instagram yes. or they can mail you. If not, you must be having a dedicated number. It's in my page only. Okay, everything can be found on your page. In my page, yes. In my Instagram page. Interesting. So, what about the package? Can you just share a little bit on it, like the amount involved in what all things you will get under the package? So, uh, right now, our package is of 25,000. Uh, it's eight day. What we do is we include fooding, lodging, and uh, sleep, insulation mat, and camping, and even gu guides and everything. No? We we take a cook with our with our whole tracking team. No? So and right now what we do is we even hire the junior porters as a guide mm -hmm. with our teammates. No? We have even started this uh, kayaking uh, in the lake number two. No? But uh, the thing is you have to reach Anani by yourself. 
Okay, till Adini, the tourists, they have to come by themselves. You will receive them there. From there on, it is your responsibility yeah. for the next eight to nine days. Eight to nine days, yes. Okay, great, great. And uh, in, in the future, we are planning, like, we'll make a package from, uh, for other state people, sir, from the Brewer Airport to the Brewer Airport. Yes. Which is more feasible also. Uh, we'll see in the future. Yes, that will be uh, good, interesting. Issue, yeah. yes. And now, uh, since you mentioned about that, Zarumo, yeah, right? Hotel, yeah. Dipang Valley, it has got four valleys. One is that Matu Valley, where all the seven lakes mm -hmm. is located. Yes. Then the second is that Diri Valley, where the Zerumo Valley is located. Uh, the trail to the 1,000 waterfalls. waterfalls yeah. Then the third is that Talu Valley. Talu Valley, yeah. Yes. Talu Valley, the trail leading to Atupopo. And then the fourth is that Amra Valley. Yeah, Amra Valley and yeah. there you have written no idea yet. yet. So it is still yet to be explored. We still don't know what lies in there. Yes. There is no valley. one has gone there. Yes. I mean, it's a valley. I mean, uh, you'll find small, small villages with hardly one, two houses over there. Uh, so our plan is to explore more and to, you know, uh, to make the whole you know community the youth get engaged in the whole community yes? uh, so from next year we'll start zarumo trail also uh, zarumo trail what we're going to do is we're going to uh, make safety measurements you said it's for the beginners uh, zarumo i don't think it's for beginners it's, but uh, absolutely not for an unfit trekker so. jimu i want to ask you this with the increase of footfall in tourist places comes along with it the uh, challenge of waste management. Zuko Valley in Nagaland is already confronting this issue and Mount Everest is called as the you know world highest garbage dump. Your Imutu Tracker team is just one in half year old. You still have the time to take the right step to protect and to preserve the ecology. So far what are some of the measures you are implementing as a team to put a check on waste management? So uh, what we do is uh, during the trek, uh, during the trail, so if you find any, any plastic, we just, you know, keep it. Uh, we, our team, we have this one bag. You keep collecting we keep it. Collecting, yeah, we keep, keep, keep collecting it. And we have found that the trackers uh, all around the India, they don't do much of this, you know, throwing off uh, Rappers. They don't litter. They don't litter, yeah. Instead, they are more aware. Instead, they tell us that don't do this, don't do this. So, I mean, there we have we have not faced uh, so much of problem regarding the waste management. But at the end, when the trek, when you come back, no, what we do is uh, we bring back the containers like uh, fish tin, and if we some paneer, we take paneer with us, right? So paneer tin, then this uh, pea. This all tin we we carry it back, and if there is something like glass items, then we we carry it back, and we also tell our trackers to not bring any sort of uh, glass items, and uh, even if they bring the plastics, no, what we do is we burn it. I mean that doesn't sound good here, but out there you know we need heat also. Mm -hmm. It's very important because at the night if it rains then the temperature goes really low. Um, one to one to three four degrees. No? So we use whatever the plastic we have for burning and um, and whatever we cannot burn uh, what we do is we carry it we carry it back and we also we also sensitize our uh, the sporter teams and our guys uh, we are come we are totally focused on not littering the track you just started so maybe at present the problem might not be big you can still collect it you can bring it but with the increase in the tourists, it will be very difficult for you just to pick and bring it. So from the beginning only, you can have an entry point where they can come and register all the non-biodegradable items. You can have some do's and don'ts, what are allowed, what is not allowed. If you can just introduce from the beginning to preserve the beautiful, all the scenery that you have shown. And I came across one article in Nepal, whoever visited Mount Everest, the government make, makes it mandatory that all the tourists, they have to deposit $4,000. Mm -hmm. And if they return back with eight kilogram of garbage, then they refund the money. Okay. But if they come empty handed, then they don't get the money. 
So something on a similar line, maybe that $4,000 is quite huge for our place, but something on a similar line, if we can introduce so that whatever fresh or virgin place that we see now that has been preserved. So we can always think on that line. Thank you so much. So yeah, Jimo, your team has been recognized by the governor, by the CM. In fact, the chief minister even follow Imutu trackers on Instagram. So you have got the attention from the top. So where do you move from here on and what is the team next plan? Our uh, team, team's next plan is to expand, you know. Suppose, we, suppose uh, next year we're going to open this Zarumo Trail, right? So we are going to, you know, make sure that uh, unemployed use of a Dree Valley, that's uh, Zarumo Trail, uh, they are the one who's engaged. The trail that leads to 1,000 waterfalls. Yeah. That so there is 1,000 waterfalls. I mean, see, after, after every 50 meter, you'll find like big, big two. Yes. Chimu, you mentioned somewhere that one certain places reminds you of the movie Avatar. Was it about the Zarumo Falls you were talking about? Yes, oh yes, Zarumo Falls. Huh? Uh, you know, during the month of June and July, even in Seven Lake area, the, the rhododendrons, they're not green, they are bluish in color. Huh? You know, they're circling the whole lake and it looks very enchanting to be the, uh, you know, the perfect world. Huh? And, um, and uh, this bluish, uh, th this bluish, you know, uh, plant, alongside with uh, flowers. Uh, during the month of June, July, you know, you'll find, you know, the whole lake, the whole mountains covered with uh, leafy flowers. Oh. So, um, yes, uh, that, it reminds us of, you know, the Avatar movie. Yes, you know, really uh, talks about and tries to tell people about one thing, that we are connected to Mother Nature. Yes. So, Chimu, we have a small surprise for you. Yeah. This is what the public of Ruing has to say about the Imutu Trekker. Let's take a look. So, what do you think about Imutu Trekker? Imutu Trekker, we have a lot of experience. What do you think about this trekking activity? What do you think about Ruing? What changes will come? There are a lot of changes because there are a lot of local people who are unemployed. And यहाँ तक हम देखा है कि वहाँ पे जो लड़का लोग हैं, जो पोटर जो है, वो लोगों को घर का खर्चा ये सब मैंने जेनरेट होगा, खर्चा से खर्चा को लेके, तो हम ये चीज देखा दिया, बहुत अच्छा अच्छा है। क्या सुना है? मतलब मतलब फिर भी सही सही है कि भाई आप का ट्रैकिंग नेता सुना था, लास्ट टाइम हम लोग भी चेक what do you think about this trekking activity in Rowing? What will change 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 in Rowing? If you get a chance, if you can become a tourist guide, you can become a trekking guide. Are you interested? Yes, I am interested. Yes, I am interested. Oh, I would like to highlight one thing. Yes, please. So when we started the trek, for the first time, okay, for, it was a year 2020, so there was only one homestay. And we were the first people who bought, you know, first trekkers, guests over that homestay. No? So, and the second year, there was two more homestay. And right now, there is more than 50 applications in the SBA bank, Arnini, for homestay. No? Wonderful, wonderful. Yes. So uh, that is a very good thing. That is what I've been trying to emphasize again and again to the people. No? That is, Focus on capacity building. That is all uh, as a society as well as the whole community can grow together. Yes, and it is very interesting that you said that now in Ruing people have started talking about tourism. Yeah. In the beginning they were not aware about it, but the whole community mm -hmm. have started talking about tourism, and we can see also from the clippings that even the youth they know about the Imutu trekker and they want to be a part of it. So. If in the future, if they want to become a porter or a guide or like what is the eligibility? I mean, the first thing is you, you need to join as a porter. Then we can see like who's disciplined. Yeah, you have been saying the word discipline a lot. Why discipline is very important. Discipline, see, uh, managing porter is one of the toughest jobs. You know, uh, one night you'll have porter ready. The other day, porters will, you know, you, you'll just find five, three, five, uh, three, four porters, you know. 
not in the station. So what we want is the porter who are committed. Who are committed. Yes. yes. And during the trek, during the trek, they have to be like they have to wake up on time. Yes. They have to uh, follow. They have to follow our instructions, and they have. I mean, we are not there like. We are not the teacher, but we are there. Success under, under of the trail depends on how disciplined they are, because they are the one who is carrying all the equipments, all the food, the food. for the whole team. Yes. So everything depends on them. Yes, and see, there are many porters, you know, uh, like who also steal. You know, <laughs> so it's very important that we, you know, they're honest. Yes, we filter yes. out. Yes, filter out the good yes. ones. Yeah, we have to check that angle too. Yes. Yeah. Right now we have three to four people. Is there? They are very young, like I think 23, 24 years. Sir. So we are focusing on them, and they are very disciplined also. So they are, they are in the in the future, what we'll do, what we'll do is they'll uh, they'll be the guide for other tracks. Yes. So you need to do proper screening yes. before taking them. And also, I would like to highlight one thing. Okay, the porter has to wake up early. <laughs> this is the toughest thing. <laughs> the porter has to wake up early. Yeah. Mind that. Yeah. Uh, by next year, we'll uh, open the Zarumo Trail and. Um, and slowly we will progress from here and then. And uh, uh, we are hoping that the government, the same as he is very young and you know he encourages the tourism. Is he planning to visit? Yeah, I mean, he is planning to visit. And uh, last time I had talked, I mean, had a small conversation, and I had asked him like, ask, I, I requested him to join us. No? So he said like he will be coming next year. Wow, that's uh, good. And the same is very young, and I hope he'll he'll help us very soon. No? In some other way or any way. If he's watching this. Yeah. <laughs> so, Chimo, since you are in the break crow show, I have to ask you this question. Can you tell us what was the break crow moment in your life that has made you the person that you are now? I think the breakthrough moment was that uh, when I told about this seven leg trick to one of the friends. Yes. Um, who is very expert in pulling the leg? Huh? So he, I mean, he directly told me that you cannot do it. And that is the, I think that that was the moment, you know, the, the challenge. challenge. The challenge. Challenge was the breakthrough moment for you. Yes, and that challenge was the breakthrough moment for me. And the next breakthrough was when we actually completed the track. And when I uploaded the photos, it got shared by uh, many northeastern, you know, Instagram uh, popular uh, mm -hmm. popular pages. And it got even shared by the our CM itself. Even the central minister, they start. It's you know, a very breakthrough moment. Yes. yes. And that is when I thought, okay, let's do it. And the next breakthrough is, you know, after two years when I got recognized. And now I'm very much inspired, you know, to go global. That is the thing. Uh, that is, I think these two were the most uh, important breakthrough part of who I am today. So finally, do you have any message to the young viewers who are watching this show today? Uh, if you're coming over here, then expect that you're going to witness something different. Eh? And uh, and when you come over here, you have to first thing that you have to know is you have to respect the mountains. Mountains, though it might be small or bigger, you know, always respect it. Never disrespect the traditional culture. There is there is practice over over there. And uh, yes, stay safe and uh, may you find God over here. Thank you so much. The advisor of Imuto Trekker wants to tell all the youths. Thank you, Chimo, so much for coming to our studio today. We really need your kind of people to post the tourism sector in our state. We have a small token of appreciation from our team. So we are doing our bit by promoting our local people. All these are all local products we have sourced out from Namsa. Kamdi rice, then we have got spices, our natural spices, we have got cookies from Ian Gis, then we have a postcard from one of our very renowned artists, Okin, mm -hmm. then we have CDC and Marx, and many more here. So this is for you from Team Breakthrough. Uh, thank you so much, thank you so much. Thank you, viewers. Your viewership means a lot to us. So stay tuned with us next week for more interesting stories. Mm -hmm.